and you know it in a masked vandal. Then it ain't in the masked vandal. Then it ain't in the masked vandal. We'll get you all in your sleep. He'll get you all in your sleep. Link, I'm not. Link, I'm not that boring. Okay. You good? You good? Because I'll stop if you want. No? Okay. The masked vandal will eat you all in your sleep with a spike. Uh, wait, no. A spife. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, fine. I'd continue on, but Link, Link can't pay attention for some reason today. I mean, my song's good. I, he just, he's just not in it, into it today. Hey, buddy, welcome back to another Pal Plays Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. <laughs> in the last episode, we did the Masked Vandal dance. And this episode, we did the Mask Masked Vandal song. With the beautiful backdrop, backdrop of the great tree, which almost looks like a face. Eye. Eye. Mouth. Hmm, pretty cool. In this episode, we will go to Lake Floria. Or something like that. Oh, and here's something I discovered in the previous recording. After the pre previous recording, throw the bomb. As soon as it hits the surface of the water, it blows up. Bombs do not do that in the water. Any other place with water, you throw bombs, they will just not blow up. <laughs> I was trying to think of a word, so I just came up with not blow up. So, uh, I guess we're supposed to dive in here. Dedicate Shadow Ganon! I did a roll, in case you didn't see. So this is the last episode that I recorded, but then discovered that the audio is way up, so stuff will be fresh for me after this episode. As, as we drift down current, down the current, we see Lake Floria, and zoom in for whatever reason to see the water. That's something I have to say, Nintendo really shows water off well. Oh, and is it just me, or does it look like there should be a secret here? I always thought there, sh there should be a secret here. I've made progress. I've In my my spare time, I've gotten to be get behind that tree and there's nothing. But it looks like there should be a secret. So yeah, Nintendo... Link. Nintendo really shows off water well. Uh. There we go. You know, in Pikmin 1, that's probably my best example. Pikmin 1 and, um, Super Mario Sunshine, and, of course, the Mario Galaxy games, but I'm talking about older games. They showed off water really well. They've always done a great job of that. Well, Wind Waker, I think, was an exception, but... Realistic games, like this, <laughs> as I point to a weird creature, their water is just beautiful. I just thought I should say that. Congratulations, Nintendo. I'm a fan of your water. <laughs> Ack, another human. Okay, okay. I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. That never works, bro. Don't you watch movies? Let's see what you have to say. Ha! A human in the water. Look at him trying to flap around in the water. Okay. You're scared of me, but you aren't, okay? Link, swim straight. I never knew there were humans who could dive this deep. Can you also do a spin, uh, spin by shaking your nunchuck? Actually, I can. Can you? See, look at me spin. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Gah, how is that even possible? I've never seen a human spin pull off a spin like that. Wait, that's a water dragon scale. Does that make you the emissary of the goddess? Like the water dragon said? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her e excellence. What's wrong? Yeah, about that. It happened really rec recently. This weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and went right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter, and boy, did she gobble up most of those monsters in the first few seconds. The th thing is, there were so many of them, uh, there were so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's he healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. 
Could you could you please go speak with her excellence and see if you can help her out? I'll even take you to her. Follow me. So we just glitched that because normally you approach him and he'll be like, "See, I can um I can do this. You can't get you can't get me." And he'll swim through this and you'll spin and destroy it and he'll be like, "Ah, how'd you do that?" But this, we destroyed it, and then he was like, how'd you do that? <laughs> he just stand there like, show, you, show me your moves. We did, and he's like, whoa. So, um, yeah, we, we broke the game a little bit. Yeah, like that, exactly. Wait, oh, I was worried that we glitched it so we couldn't break it. Huh? That's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here, and the path is blocked by a huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? Well, first, let's start off by d diving and hitting you. And floating amongst all these hearts is someone who will tell do something cool. Eat! Don't eat me! I won't eat you. What? You're not going to gobble me up? Oh, that's a relief. I've been hiding he out here for a while, in here for a while, ever since this, that school of scary-looking fish swam through. Okay, there's another choice. Let's ask him. Eep, don't eat me. I, I just said I won't eat you. Your excellence? Me? The water dragon? No. Are you looking for her, her excellence? You possess one of her scales, so you must be a friend of our kind. We, I will tell you where you can find her. The water dragon lives just a little ways from here. If you want to make note of that, now's probably the good, a good time to do it. Why can we place beacons? We're practically indoors. It's a secret to everybody. Man, there's a trend recently with Zelda 2 references. So that big boulder in the center. We don't have water bombs, but we have bomb fish. That's the one we want. There's silver rupee in there. It's pretty obvious that secret. But hey, I, I like Zel I like Scarred Sword Secrets. It probably has the best ones I've ever seen in a Zelda game. Two red rupees in here. Where are we going? Ah. There's the path. Passage? Is it called a pathway if it's underwater? I would say, I would tend to say no. Now that's using your noodle. Wow, I haven't heard that in a while. Her Excellence is just up ahead, over this way. I haven't heard anyone say it using your noodle. Where's our beacon? Oh, there it is. See, it's not even useful underwater. So that thing, I don't know what they're called. Can we, no, we can't bio them. Say, Mr. Human Person, do you know how to do a spin jump? If you spin up toward the water's surface, you can do an amazing leap right out of the water. Actually, we knew that, but you'd be very helpful if I didn't know that. So, jump! Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Huh? You can't get through? Sheesh, you humans and your bones. Talk about inconvenient. I guess you could leap over the top of this wall if you have to. What are you talking about? I could get through that if you just let me do it. That's not that hard. Maybe I I personally could get through that. I'm not sure if Link could. Oh, come on. Okay. Seriously? Okay. Up. Jump. There we go. Wow. Perfect jump after two tries. I'd call you amazing, but I... I think we both know it's the water dragon scale that made that little stunt possible. That's not very nice. That's not a nice thing to say. So he can fit through that crack there, but we can just jump. Now there are two secrets in this room, I believe. At least, at least one. There's this, and a chew that just dropped behind us. Goddess plume. Cool. We have four. And we have a jelly blob. Wait. Where is he? 
Did he die? <laughs> Poor guy. And I see a, an amber relic there. And there's I see a goddess cube over there. Ow. Dive, Link. These water controls aren't as bad as I'm making it out. Make Link! Making them out to be. It's just, I'm rusty. And we have one of these. And we have one of these, which I could kill him with a bomb, but I want to see Phil drop a jelly. No jellies at all. We've been getting a ton of goddess cubes lately. I think there's one more, too, that we're going to be seeing. And one of those. Is this where we're supposed to go? I think it is. No, it's not. This way. Ooh! Jerk. I forgot those were in here. Those, uh, spiny things. We can't actually bio them, so... Let's just call them burrs, because that's pretty much what they are. Just big burrs. What do you have to say? I like talking to these guys. This... The place was just perfectly peaceful for the longest time. Then weirdo people like you started showing up. <sighs> On top of that, scary fish have been terrorizing our water. All this co commotion has made it impossible for me to get any shut eye. Poor guy. I'd, I'd make some joke about suggesting some sleep aid medication, but I can't think of any. I I'm honestly have nothing. Ugh. Man, those things are gross. Yikes! Oh, they're back. That's one of the fish that weirdo brought in here and used to attack her ele excellence. I almost said elegance. Watch out! They're as mean as they come. Are they? Let's sneak up on them. Can we do that? Oh. Let's sneak up on land. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's following us? Perfect time to jump. Ow. Actually, didn't do any damage, and we killed him. Just spin, just spin twice, and apparently they die, so. Not that hard. You guys, you guys can spin. Your spin would be probably more dangerous than mine, because you have those things on your heads. At last, we're here. There are no secrets up on the land. I've checked before. There's nothing. So just just go on straight here. There's just skulls. One of them has a fairy in it. So if you want that, I guess it, that's a thing. So their heads are screwdrivers. Okay. <laughs> it's like those... Uh, it's like my argument to evolution. If we ev evolve, why don't humans have wheels? Or why don't people, animals have wheels? Please come in. See, he has a screwdriver. <laughs> evolution. <laughs> Fine at its finest. Screwdriver head. Uh, that's that's kind of funny. So other 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 creatures like you have a Phillips, <laughs> a Phillips head. I bet you're really generic and call them, their last name is Phillips, right? And you're uh, standard. No, his his first name is Stan. His last name is Dirt. Uh, I'll I'll stop talking about them now. There are a couple secrets in this room. One is an amber relic there. There's another amber relic on top of one of these weird things. I don't, I don't know what they are. Like, they clean the water or something? So there's an amber relic on top of one of these, I think. I'm 90% sure. No? Really? Okay. I thought I saw one. Okay, let's look before we start looking any more like a fool. Let's go ahead and talk to the water dragon. 
Let's sneak up from behind. Can we talk to her from here? Okay, right here. That's good. Ah, you there, human. Oh, you have intruded into my home, a sacred place few are permitted to enter. There's no place for th this is no place for one such as you, and yet here you stand. You uh, you will explain how you got here and quickly. Water dragon? I am. Those with manners address me as Farin, Warden of the Woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say, know that you, st you stand in the presence of a loyal servant, servant of the goddess. Hmm? I say, that is one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift such, a, uh, such as that can only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero, but could you really be him? This raises questions. Even with that scale in your possession, finding my hall is no easy task. How did you find me? <laughs> ah, yes. That cackling old hermit the Kikweet told you where I lived, didn't he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Poor guy. Oh, but I digress. You've come here seeking a sacred flame, haven't you? Yes, I have. I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you, hard, like you, hardly looks the part of the god goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you are e you've, you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Gurahim. I stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I've been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and now I'm in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor, and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? You got it. I am analyzing the water remaining in the, this basin. Excellent. I can now help you douse for the water type you're searching for. The water type Pokemon. We'll catch it with a luxury ball. <laughs> Master, you have wisely elected to carry an empty bottle. Use it to carry the water you seek. Now, if we didn't carry an empty bottle, she'd be like, you've neglected the free space in your thing, you need to do that. But we're wise, we did that. Sorry, pop in my ear. Still, it's still bugging me. I'm sorry for distracting you with it, but ugh. <laughs> if you continue th th down this way, you'll find an exit back to the woods. Excellent. Now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. There's another saying that is, never wake a sleeping dragon. I don't know how that applies. Oh, we, we can douse underwater. No, we can't. Now there are a couple secrets in here. One is up. You know, actually, I think we... I think it is possible. I think we could have gotten the sacred water before we came here. Which would have been cool, and I don't know what would have happened. Maybe you guys can try. Leave it in comments. Silver rupee! So, on the other side, I'm not sure if there's anything. Wait, what do you have to say? Please help her excellence recover. Okay. Help her! Help her! Are you serious? That, that seems like a reference to Wind Waker, where there's that one leader dude in the scuba gear, and he has four or three people with him that, are, that repeat everything he says. I wonder if he's like them or something. This room is cool, and this, this may sound weird, but whenever I'm in water levels or anything, I kind of feel refreshed. You know, like you just took a cold shower in, in uh, summer. It sounds really weird, but that's how I feel in wa in water levels. 
it's just back when I played Nintendogs for the DS, I felt the same way, which is weird. Whenever you do the thing where you give the dog the shower and stuff, I always felt refreshed, like I took a shower. I, it's just one of those things, you know, that you can't explain, but you always like it, you know. It could also be part in part that I'm I'm sitting in a cold room, but still, like it's just something that's always happened for me. I just can't really explain it. Just like how certain songs remind you of certain things that happen while you're listening to them, like that. We caught one Blasid butterfly. Twenty-four. Get, get thing, get, man. And it will give us, from memory, a monster claw. Are you guys impressed or or frightened? So drawing a symbol of love will heal our wounds. Okay. Now there's a secret here. There are two secrets here. One is a goddess cube, which we cannot get yet, but the other one is... Up. Is a gold rupee. There we are. And we are actually going to drink our stamina potion. We are fired up. We can run for three minutes without losing any stamina at all. Now, I tried, I've i tried to think of a song that will fit this, and I think I've thought of one. After Fi talks to us. Master, I have information to report. By my estimates, you are currently situated in the southwest area of Farron Woods. Farron. 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 Please confirm your location with your map. Where's Orden? Um... Well, I'll do my, I'll do my song in a second, but someone's asked me if I if I'm gonna do just Zelda stuff. No, not in the slightest. I have plans for other LTS, and I'm constantly thinking of or uh, oh wait, we're going the wrong way. We're co I'm constantly thinking of new games that I can LP. Um, now I want to do some of my favorite games, which so happen to be you know games that are mainstream games, you know, like Zelda and Mario, but I want to try to find some games that aren't along those lines, and I, th so I'm trying to think of those, but I'm not just doing Zelda, not, not even close. After this LP, we are not doing another Zelda game, uh, Zelda game immediately. It will be... Not far in the f well, actually, pretty far in the future, because I have other ga games I really want to LP. So yeah, pretty far in the future will be at the next Zelda game. So that's the thing. <laughs> we just walk up and just kind of slap him. My sister, who has played this game a tiny bit, she's played past, past the first dungeon. She's commented on how bouncy the Bokoblins are, and I agree, they're really bouncy. Though, I like this better. I like I like their physics better than in Wind Waker, where if you hit a Bokoblin, like, once with a very uh, strong-ish attack, he'd just fall on the ground, and he couldn't do anything. With this, you know, they take... They take some hits. And also, I like how they can block. No, I didn't want that. Two Deku Hornets. I didn't want to catch any because we have 94. But I guess we're just going to be... We're going to be up to 99. And while I'm at it, I might as well get their, their larva. What does Link do with the... After he gets 99, what does he do with the rest? Eat it? Get off me. Sheesh. Annoying. I called them annoying. Solid Link strikes again. Tase him. Finish him off. 
How are you alive? Now you're dead. Oh, we can do like unlimited spin tacks now. Sweet. Oh, treasure. Ow! There's no way a bee could have knocked me down like that. Leave me alone. Ow! Jerks. Oh, funny thing, if you try to pick up this bush, you get to see the rest of his body. And we're gonna kill this guy real quick. I don't like how you can hit me with your belly like that. Here's something that I've been meaning to mention about the, uh, the motion controls, is that when you st stab, the stab doesn't register that well. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. okay step. It just doesn't register as well as other stuff. That was a bad example, but it, it just doesn't. I don't quite like it. Okay. Yes, we are going back into Skyview Temple. You thought that temples were done? No. There are times we have to go back. My readings indicate the presence of sacred water within the temple. Unfortunately, it is not possible to use your dousing ability here. Based on my calculations, I estimate the water is located in the deepest part of the temple complex. Really? Uh, I tried... I'm detecting greater enemy presence in the vicinity than I have previously obser observed. We, you would be wide, wise to proceed with caution. I... Really? I remember... Mm, I did... I'm angry at myself. What, what happened is I never finished my editing story. Really? It was last episode. I never finished it. I've been remaining to remind myself to finish it. Okay, I'll finish it real quick. Uh, I'm angry at myself because I specifically reminded myself to remember it. Okay. After finding this glitch, I wasn't able to record for two weeks until finally I... Did I finish this? I'm not sure. Until I finally found an editing software called... Um, it's Cyberlinks... Power Director 12. I got the trial version, so this is what I've been editing episodes with past 25. I'm actually, now that I know the glitch, what the glitch is, I'm really surprised that I was able to edit 25 episodes without it occurring, but I was, and it was really nice. So I got Power to Director 12, and it's pretty good, and um, yeah, so thanks to my dad. I'm not sure if I said this before. My dad's the one, that's the one he was using, and he gave it to me. It just occurred to me, with the four takes of these episodes, I'm not sure if I've told you. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've never told you and this is a surprise to you. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating things. I just want to get that out there. Goddess wall here. What? 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 There's a goddess wall there. And a magma for whatever reason. Hold it. You're that guy. The guy I met in the volcano. Here, do some treasure hunting too? Yep. I called it. You've got treasure hunter written all over your face. <laughs> got something on your face. Justice. Uh. <laughs> Did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot too? Stone guy? Yeah, what'd he say again? Strum the co a chord most, be ah, most beautiful in the place within the temple where the butterflies dance. So I get in here and let loose with some of the, some, some of the most gorgeous humming I've done in my entire life and nothing happens. 
But seeing as I've come this far, there's no chance I'm gonna give up the hunt for treasure just yet. Okay. At least he didn't do the thing where you dig and he appears. Uh. That magma scared me half death. There we go. Oh, he comes back. Whoa there, buddy. I bet you think you're gonna run ahead and swipe all the best treasure for yourself. But I'd say you're setting yourself up for big time disappointment. Just because some weird design popped up on the wall doesn't mean you're any closer to finding treasure, all right? I think you've been you've been had by that boulder with legs. Oh. Stay here if you want. I'm going ahead. He knows knows about Gorko. Sweet. That's interesting. So if you draw a Triforce, you'll get fairies. If you draw a heart, you'll get um, you'll get hearts. If you draw a rupee, you'll get rupees. Uh, if you draw other stuff, if you draw bombs, you'll get bombs. There's other stuff too. But I'm gonna draw. A rupee. Sometimes you get better rupees than these. But I, I just did the rupee. I don't need rupees, but, you know, joke's on him. He was like, if you think you got treasure, you better look again, because I have the treasure. Yeah. I'm like, no, bro. I got treasure. And we have archers. Okay, we have cover. Actually going to end it here. In the next episode, we will continue on. And we will get the key for that door, which I remember last time we had trouble with. This time, though, I remember exactly what we need to do. Exactly. Exactly? Uh oh. Well, we'll see if I remember what to do next time.